Me and Mike Vittito is going to open up some more beehives this morning. See what's going on in them. It's a constant mm. calm buzzing sound, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, like I said, I like to spray them with, with this honeybee healthy. It's a good, it's a good uh, vitamin to them. I think it gives them a little bit of a boost. And it'll knock them down, kind of the same way a smoke does. It smells good. Uh-huh. Is that a kind of a lemon smell? Mm-hmm. It's a, cit a citrus. Citrus. Citrus uh, food in there. They're not hungry by no means. That fella we had down to the, the give us that bee talk, Hale was yeah. his last name. Right. I love to get to go up there and talk to him. I like to spend about a week with him. Because, <laughs> you know, he's doing something, he's doing... <laughs> what he's doing and what I'm doing are kind of similar, but but he he's coming through the winter a whole lot better than I'm doing, as you as you can well see. You think where he requeens so much? That is probably that is the and that's one thing that I do not do, and I need to do it. Every beekeeper will agree with it that you need to requeen every year. Keep it in mind next month. We'll come back and do this again and we'll see, show you how much they have changed in a month. You talking about number wise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much how much honey is still in there? How much bit with that and how many bees will be in there? A little bit under Mr. Hale. <laughs> there's something he's doing that <laughs> there's something he's doing is not is, is, is that he hadn't that we you're not seeing yet because yeah. like, he said he has 150 pounds per hive mm -hmm. yeah that's a bunch of honey yeah you haven't seen a high beetle yet have you lying not a live one have you seen it i haven't seen any yet no i haven't I, seen a one yeah that's good so what i'm going to do is go home and start putting swifter pads on all my hives now yeah and and buy them they're they're cheap I've already got them bought, it's just a matter of putting them on. Let me get where you're standing at there. Uh, they're cheap, and, and cut. They, they first started out saying just cut inch strips. Well, I did that, and you, what you'll find, you're going to take a good pair of scissors to cut them. Right. And, uh, and, and, but now, I just cut, take one pad, cut it half and two. You'll see when you get them out of the box where uh -huh. to cut them at, and lay one on each end, and they need to be right there. You know, Leave a little bit of room where, them be, where that beetle, because them bees try to trap them down in them end bars you know right. and it's where they they get to get herded up to so you let them crawl up they let them come, it. yeah come up there and get on top of that get on top of that uh, uh swiffer pad not seen a live beagle ought to tell us something yeah that that right there is a is a definite plus yeah definite plus how would it be right now if it was 15 degrees and uh, fi, uh 15 degrees and, and snow blowing, you know, and if I hadn't have fed, you know, last year, and what, 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 what tripped me up, I guess you say last year, was in August, after I took my honey in July and August, there's no, hardly no honey flow around here. So when I took all that honey off, these boxes was empty, and so I had to feed them, you know, right. and I did, I, I fed them, some of these hives, I fed them probably five gallon of corn syrup, huh. you know, and, 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 and then, like I say, was filling that top box up, which is what you need for winter. Well, then it ended up, we had a honey flow last fall. Mm -hmm. Had a little bit of a honey flow. Mm -hmm. And they did, they made they made honey here. First time in a, in a long time that I've known to me making any honey fall honey. So how do you know? Yeah. <laughs> how do you know what to do? I guess you play it by ear. Right, right, that's all you can do. You know, you, see there's still a little honey there. I'm gonna set these over. See, I always move that first one and then I, let's see where, where I move room, that frame. Get room for the other. Get, see okay. now, see I can pull that over to me and I'm not gonna crush any bees because I'm pulling it over to me yeah. and picking it up. I'm not picking it, I get it away from that other frame so as not to uh, crush any bees. I don't see no uh, larvae yet. No. Nah. Eggs. We will here in a minute or two, Hope so. hopefully we do. No hope, cat brood. Hopefully we do. There's a few eggs there in this one here. Like I say, we've had some, see all that pollen they've stored in there, see? Mm -hmm. There. They, uh, yeah, there's eggs in, in there. 
but we've had last two or three days some big uh, flourishes of you know kept our uh, bees you know going out on their orientation flight there's larva in there you can see larva in there and eggs See that bee there? Look at see doing that dance. Mm -hmm. Tell them, tell them where the pollen's at. See, we got doing it, doing that ori orientation with the sun. There's several of them shaking their tail. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh boy. There's a bunch of them got stories to tell. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're they're talking. I gotta get my bucket set on. I can't stand that. These are good calm bees. Uh-huh. Well, and, and that's what I'm telling you. You know, once you become more confident with handling your bees, see all that cat brood there? All uh, them are babies to come? Uh-huh, yeah. They're, they'll be hatching out here in a few more days. Uh. You learn to you learn to handle your bees and and uh, I've noticed one thing that you move slow. Yeah, and I tell you another thing too. You ain't over. I'm not over top of that hive doing. You know, I I, I come in from the outside. Yeah. And and work and, and don't because that movement bees. I don't know how well bees can see. They they uh, they can definitely see and smell, but I think more movement than anything. And if you keep your movement slow. And deliberate, you don't stir them up. And like I say, they. Uh, I guess people are swatting at them. They all want to get on. Yes. Them. Oh yeah. 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 They're gonna get. They can, they, there's. <laughs> they, well, every one of them can fight you. Let's get that frame there standing up here. Uh, and and like I say, the the bee suits are okay, but uh, Ken calls them sweat suits like. I used yeah. to go there and wear mine, and he said, "I see you weren't going to wear your sweatsuit today." <laughs> <laughs> and 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 he'll go out there in shorts and, and a t-shirt, oh, and wow. very rarely get stung. Very rarely. And uh, let me spray them with a little bit. Well, they seem to like me more than this. Well, it's 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 just a matter of of uh, you getting knowing what you're doing, knowing what comfortable with them. And like I say, I've had I've had these same bees run me completely out of the bee yard. I mean, they had to go to the house and get inside the house to get away from them. Huh. You know, back when I didn't know uh, a little, you know, and, but you learn. And like I say, you get out here you, these hot days and, and, and working these bees, you wearing them sweatsuits and, and they're just uncomfortable. And, and But you just, and, and the thing, the, the, the only way, the only way to learn is leave that, leave that, leave that sweatsuit at home and get on in there and they'll let you know when you messed up. <laughs> Ready for this one? You can. Yeah, sit right on back down on there. Yeah, uh -huh, you're right. There you go. Love, love. Leave them plastic strips laying on top of that hive there. Let's see if I got the top here. 